Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I am so excited today be sh to be sharing with you our newest collection called Showered in Love. And this love themed collection is great for Valentine's creations or for any love themed cards, anniversary, thinking of you, even friendship, missing you. And to start off, our versatile sentiment sets really make these all of these stamps more versatile for you. So the first new set is called 30-946 Love in My Heart. You may want to hit pause and really take a look at those sentiments. You'll see that they really do offer a lot of opportunities to combine these with these stamps to send for lots of occasions. Here is another. This is a 3 by 4 inch mini set 30-949 without limits. Now we'll take a look at some of the new cuddly critter stamps that are included in this collection and you will see those sentiment sets used throughout this entire video. So the first new critter set is 30-945 Showered in Love. I think these teddy bears are so so adorable and I've made a ton of cards with them. You can see here where you could really use these for so many different occasions or Valentine's Day um, where there is love, good things will grow and I've paired this up with some of my favorite die cuts from my stash and Penny Black dies of course. Here is another one of those bears or a pair of bears from this set making a friendship card. A best friend is a shoulder to lean on. And if you're wondering about any of the Penny Black products used on any of these cards, be sure to visit our blog. I will put a link down in the YouTube description box for you below. And on our blog, we will show every single card with the products, Penny Black products used on each card listed and linked right below those cards. Our next new clear set is 30-951 Skip a Beat and I just think these are the cutest little critters. I had fun just doing some simple watercoloring with these and fussy cutting them out and adding them to my cards with some different dyes and just kind of mixing and matching, making some very clean and simple cards. But you know after all of the holiday creating it feels so good to me to be getting out some bright colors and some flowers and really being able to mix things up. Next up we have 30-948 Together Forever. Again more beautiful super cute teddy bears but look at those elephants. I'm so in love with the elephants on this set. Here is a card featuring those. Again just doing some simple watercoloring, fussy cutting things out and then mixing and matching those with the new sentiment sets and some penny black dies. Here are those bears. Again, take a look side by side or miles apart. We will always be connected by the heart. Those sentiments really make these sort of love themed stamps really versatile that you can use throughout the entire year. Here's another one of those bears for my lovely friend. This could be a thinking of you card. It could be a Valentine's Day card. It could even be a birthday card. He's sending love on someone's special day. And another one, I told you I had a lot of fun <laughs> making these critter cards. If I had a flower for every time you made me smile, I'd have a garden to walk in forever. Next up, we have some really fun, stylish, whimsy stamps. And these are illustrated by Ann Keenan Higgins. She is a fabulous illustrator. I'll link down to her Instagram below. You'll be so inspired to want to use these stamps. First up is 30-947 Crafting. I've just stamped these and made one layer cards with very simple watercolor. I love just how fun these are. They're so different. They're not the usual things you see for Valentine's Day or love uh, theme stamps. Here's another. This is 30-950 Happy Mail. And aren't aren't that or isn't that row of flowers down at the bottom? I just think that's so fun. It can be used on its own or used with this adorable girl on the bike. And look at the little dog. <laughs> I just love his eyes over there looking at that bird. Another is 30-952 in the air. This is a miniature transparent set. And I've done a couple of cards with this. Here is a very clean and simple one, mostly one layer card. 
very simple watercoloring on this. And for the second card featuring the stamp, I've combined it with some creative dies just to give it a different look. I love the dimension of those die cut heart balloons and you'll see I've used those on a few other cards as well. So speaking of dies, let's take a look at some of the new creative dies. The first is one that I've made a ton of cards with. I hope you don't get bored seeing them all. But this is 51-757 Immense Love. And this is a really nice large size die of the word love. So you can see this here. This is on a standard size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And so you can see that great size and it has that large O and you can get so creative with that. I've done it with a flower there. Here I've pulled in some of those cute critter stamps and I love how you can just pop them inside of that letter O and just have a lot of fun with that. Another new creative die is 51-760U. Again, the same idea. This is a nice large die. Here you'll see it on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And you can get really creative with what you do with that O in there. It almost creates its own little frame for you to spotlight some of your favorite stamps. I also had fun using these with an older die of ours, 51-122 Stylish Gratitude. You can use the thank part of this with the U, <laughs> so mixing and matching to create thank you cards. And then if you use the U from that, you can do love you. So a really fun one to combine with these dies and you can pull in lots of your other um, flower stamps or critter stamps to use with these love and you dies. I also really loved these and combined them with 30-666 only you. This is a miniature transparent set and it is so perfect with these. I know what love is because of you. So you can uh, make some very clean and simple cards but these little sentiments, these short little sentiments, I think are the perfect combination with these large love and large you dies. So here you'll see for me, there is only you. You are the sunshine that makes my day. Again, you can send this card any time of year. You can send it on Valentine's, but you can really send it any time of year. And I love that about this collection from Penny Black. You light up my life. And here is some more. You can also use that only you sentiment, those little sentiments with the love creative die. So love today and always. It's just a nice little sort of secondary sentiment on there. And again, here's another love today and always. And I hope to have a video for you with a lot of these cards I've done with these creative dies. Next up is 51-762 Stitched with Love. This is a really fun um, die. You can do a border, so it adds that stitching along the border of your card. You can embellish that as much as you like or keep it very simple, but it just adds that nice stitching to your cards. Here is another new creative die. This is 51-759 Love Edger. I've made a ton of cards with this too. It is really nice because you can cut that word love. You can use it by itself or you can use it with that edger that cuts that border above the word love. Then you can stick in like little critters on there or I've done some more elegant cards with it. So here you can see I've done my stamping down below and then I have um, added that love edger up near the top. So with that edger die cutting, you can decide how far up on your card or how low you want it on your card. So speaking of that love edger, here is hugs edger. This works that same way, it cuts the word hugs. And then you can also cut sort of an edge or a border along the top of that word hugs. Perfect for combining the new critter stamps. I love that hugs, a best friend is a shoulder to lean on. But you can also do it with more elegant stamping. So here you can see I've sort of followed that floral design and then 
um, moved the word up higher onto the card. So a lot of versatility with this. And stay tuned at the end of this video, I will um, show you a couple of cards where I've used just the word hugs as well. Another new creative die is 51-758, Rooted in Love. This is such a sweet little die. Here I've kind of combined it with sort of a vase, just for a unique, very unique card and a great way to send love. Now we are also releasing with this collection some fan favorites. So these are some older stamps, but they have been very popular. And these, I'm so excited, we're releasing some of our wood block stamps. So here is 3609H Hearts Away. And I have to tell you, I've made a video with these and I just loved using the wood block stamps. I haven't used wood block stamps in quite a while and I really had forgotten how fun they are to use and how beautifully they stamp and how much I love these critters. So these are available for a limited time. Once they're gone, they're gone. But here's 3608 Love Tale. Again, lots of different things you can do with these and they're just so charming. And you'll see here on these cards a lot of the dots dies that I've combined them with are some of our newer dies. So it's really fun to mix and match all of these products together. Here's another woodblock stamp, 3611J Extra Large Love. That cat is so sweet and again so cute tucked into that immense love creative die. Another one of our fan favorites is 3343H Snuggle. This is another little woodblock stamp with these adorable mice. Here I've combined them onto that Love Edger and then also one of our new sentiments with those guys. This is 4030K, the Park Bench Affair. <laughs> And here is the card that I've made with that and then you will see that stitching, that new stitching die there in the background. And here is 3773H Love Graffiti, another woodblock stamp. And here is a peek at a card made with that. And if you love these adorable critters, but you prefer cling, we also have this fan favorite, 40-122 Dear Friend. This is a cling stamp. And here is a look at a card made with that. And I've used the Hugs Edger, as well as one of those new sentiments with this. So it's really fun to mix and match some of the old with some of the new. Here I used our Creative Dye Lovely Border 51-484 and I combined it with all of those fabulous woodblock stamps to create some really fun simple cards, just a very very simple water coloring. But that lovely border adds so much. I just adore that and then I also really liked pulling in the new sentiments with these. There is that extra large love, that adorable cat again. So you can see just by changing up the color choices and the types of cards made, whether it's more one layer or simple watercolor or fussy cutting and creating a scene, you can really get a lot of different looks with these stamps, with these fan favorites. Now there are a few more fan favorite woodblock stamps. This is 4296J Sweetheart Mimi. And here is a card with that. This is a slimline size card and I've used that Hugs Edger die just using the word hugs. And for the Mimi stamp I just colored her simple watercolor and cut her out and added her to that card. And here is another fan favorite 4120H Basket of Love. This is a woodblock stamp as well follow the same design or layout and use the new Love Edger to add that sentiment on there and she is just so so cute. 
And then if you love the cute gals, but you prefer cling, we also have this fan favorite 40-271 Garden of Love. And again, I put her with that love edger. You can see I reached for those edgers and that immense love in those U dies quite a lot. Now I also had to make a couple of very elegant cards and I call these the love letter elegance. So these are some more fan favorites. I use this all the time. This is 40-743 vintage postcard. And then for love themed cards, I love to combine that with 30-274 posted with love. And then I've pulled in a couple of very elegant cling stamps. These are the fan favorites. 40-511 Crimson Blush. And here is that card. This is mostly all one layer except for those butterfly dies popped up on there. And I just love how beautiful this turned out and very elegant. So if you love a very elegant stamp, these fan favorites are great, as well as 40-721 Winsome Wreath. And on this card, I've used just a portion of that wreath. And I really love how that gives it a new look. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at our newest collection. If you did, be sure to give it a th this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd love to know what your favorites are, so leave a comment down in uh, the comment section down below. And remember, you can continue to connect with Penny Black and get inspiration on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website and blog, and links for all of those are down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.